Hey guys, happy Friday evening, coming to you from the west coast of Canada. I'm Erin Birch of erinbirch.info, and I thought I would shoot this quick video because earlier today I posted that um, I have sponsored 30 people in the last 30 days into my new business opportunity. Now, right now it's, what is it, almost 8 p.m. for me, and I'm still on day 30, and I've brought in 33 fantastic kick-ass entrepreneurs with me and I've rank advanced four times in 30 days. So I've had a whole bunch of people reach out to me and say, how the hell did you do that? So I thought I would share. I thought I would share, you know, how I've done it. Also, I wanted to address, I had somebody actually send me a message and she said, that's not fair. Really? I'll tell you why it's fair. Anyway, how is everyone doing tonight? Hey, Ray. Hey, Paula. Hey, Junie. Haven't talked to you in a while. Hey, Katie. Anyway, here, I'm going to start with the first thing. When this gal reached out to me and said, that's not fair. I'll tell you why it's fair. I said to her, how much time are you putting into your business? And she said, oh, about two hours a day. And I said, how long have you been doing it? And she said, three months. And I said, well, I've been working like 18 hours a day for, uh, you know, seven days a week for almost two years. It's fair. But here's the thing you need to know if you ever want to. When I first came into this industry, my first four months, you know how many people I signed up? My first four months, I signed up three people, three whole people. One of my best friends, my sister-in-law, and the woman down the road who owns a lingerie store. That's it. My first four months. So do not compare yourself to others. You know, it was Grant Cardone who said, yes, I'm an overnight success, an overnight success that took 25 years to make happen, right? So do not ever compare yourself to others. You have no idea what somebody else has gone through or put into their business to get the results that they're getting, right? But I'm going to share with you guys kind of how I did it because you kind of need to know this stuff. If you want to grow a business, hey, Chandra, Hey, Kimberly, congratulations on rank advancing again. Hey, Brenda. So anyway, here's some things that Kimberly is well aware of because she's been applying it and it's working like a Joe Dam for her. You are never going to, unless you're offering something for a buck or two, you're never going to be able to um, sponsor a lot of people into your business if you want to grow a team unless you are creating relationships right? This is network marketing, networking. You've got to be creating relationships. If you're not, you are not building a business. If you are not building an audience, you are not building a business. Number two, providing value. You're building this audience, creating relationships. You are then providing value to those people, to your audience. That's how you do it. You have to be doing that. Trust me, spamming your company logo and your pretty pictures of the products all over social media doesn't work. I know this because that is what I did. That is what only allowed me to bring in three of my best friends kind of thing into my business. And it kept me broke. My first four months, I made $300 Canadian. That's like 200 US. So marketing that way, my point is, is marketing that way promoting my company and my products kept me absolutely broke. It was not growing a business. It was once I understood that I needed to be creating relationships, building an audience and providing value to the marketplace. That is when my business totally took off. I've been grinding for two years to make this happen. So, you know, never ever compare yourself to others because you're doing yourself a disservice. Use that instead to inspire you. You know, look at somebody else instead going, that's not fair. How about look at it and go, oh my God, if she can do it, I can do it because there's nothing special about her. Because <laughs> there's nothing special about me. I'm just a regular Jane who has worked my ass off and had the initiative to learn how to do this the right way and really, really went for it. If I can do it, you can absolutely do it too. But you have to be building an audience and providing value to that audience, creating relationships, having conversations with people, becoming a friend, a real friend. And that's how you do it. 
That is how you do it. So I am thrilled to have a team again because I'm going to now, now that I have conquered this goal, Kimberly, this is coming up big time. I'm going into teaching rapport building, prospecting, and closing big time. So coming up is a huge amount of training. Oh, Kimberly, this is new too. Guess what I'm doing for four days next week? I am taking a four-day seminar to get my NLP certification. So I was going to teach that to my team as well. So there is a shit ton of gold training coming your way, Kimberly. You are going to, oh man, you're going to absorb this, I know. So I can't wait to teach that because I love people and I love psychology and I love communication. And when you're a really good communicator, you can do very, very well in this industry. You can do well in any industry. You do really well in all your relationships talking to your teenagers, you name it, right? So we're going to go big into that. Chandra, did you hear that too? We're going to go big into the whole psychology and all of that. I can't wait to be teaching teaching my, my team all that good stuff. It's going to be awesome. I want to grow a team of master, master communicators. Therefore, you know, people will be able to sponsor people at will. When you are a good communicator, you can do that really well. And that's what I want for my team. So... Anyway, my point is, is if you want to grow your business online, you absolutely have to be building relationships, communicating with a lot of people every single day, especially in the beginning, because what happens, this is what I understood. I, worked, I went really hard with building the relationships for my first year and a half because I knew I would get to a point where I would be so busy that I wouldn't have time to talk to 30 or 40 people a day. So I did a lot of that in the beginning. And then when other things started to take off, like I started doing coaching and all these kinds of things. So I kind of ran out of time to talk to 30 or 40 people a day, but I knew I would be able to ha still have those relationships that I created in the beginning. And those are absolutely, that, that's what makes your business. So if you are not talking to at least 10 people a day, you're not building a business. Now I know most, a lot of people have full-time jobs. So they're like, well, I can't talk to 10 people a day. They don't have to be conversations that go on and on and on and on. Get somebody on a Facebook call or a phone and say, hey, this would be really quicker. You know, we could get to know each other a lot faster if we get on a call. So let's jump on a five minute call and get to know each other a little bit better, right? Instead of sitting there typing for three hours and you're going, oh my God, I have to go to bed, right? Get people on a call. They need to hear you speak. They need to hear, you know... Your ener they need to feel your energy and hear the conviction in your voice and all of that, right? It's the fastest way to get people to know, like, and trust you. Them seeing you on video, them seeing you speak, your mannerisms and everything, and hearing you speak. It's absolutely critical. All these, you know, it's funny, this industry, it's all about these pieces that you have to put together and your business just booms. It absolutely booms. If you're missing a few of those key points, your business never actually gets traction and gets off the ground and you never go, gather that momentum that you get to ride. And when you're riding that momentum, oh my God, it is fun. It is fun. It's like surfing. <laughs> anyway, there's my two cents worth. Cheers. Did you see Kimberly? I'm having wine. We're, we're having wine together. You and your picture and me and my video. <laughs> anyway, there you go, you guys. Uh, if you're watching this and you want to check out what myself and my team have going on, we are absolutely kicking butt. If you want to check it out, just give me a shout or anyone else on my team and join us because we are, we are rocking. And if you want to, you know, the thing is too, is what we're doing, the company we are now working with, it's all attraction marketers. So if you want to learn the right way to market, Come on in with us and you're going to learn the right way to do it as well as build a business and, you know, start making a good income for yourself. If you've been struggling elsewhere, whatever, you want to check out what we're doing, we are happy to help you. Anybody, anybody I'm working with, anybody on my team is going to be happy to help you. So connect with me or anyone on my team and um, this is going to be a rocking good year. So I have to put my glasses on, my dirty glasses to see who's on here, so... Hello, Marilyn. Been a while. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Helen. Cheers, Helen. Do you hear what I was saying, Helen? I'm taking a four-day seminar on neuro-linguistic programming. So I will be teaching the entire team 
bunch of stuff that I learned there. So that's going to help everyone big time. It's going to up everyone's communication skills. And as you know, if networking, it's all about your communication skills, right? So that's what we're going to be working on big time. Hey, Karen, how are you? So anyway, there is my two cents worth for the day. Uh, if you want to know what we have going on, just reach out to me, any of my team members, and we're happy to help. Have an awesome weekend, you guys. Have fun down under, Helen. See you guys. Love you. Bye.